of hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of let's play spelunky hd last time we died in the black market because uh, a group of shopkeepers i guess didn't like our face i don't really know what happened like honest to god i didn't do anything i was like this that time i didn't do anything i didn't i tried to be as peaceful as possible i didn't trigger any of the shopkeepers at least not intentionally they just seemingly just went rogue on my ass out of nowhere and just shot me while i was browsing through the black market i don't know why they did that i don't know what fucking happened it just happened all of a sudden so i'm going to say that the random number generator screwed me in that instance is the only lo logical the conclusion I can make. So uh, that run ended prematurely, but uh, in my defense, there was nothing I could have done about that. I can definitely say that I played as optimally as I could have. Well, may maybe not, but I, uh, me dying was definitely not from my fault. The game screwed me over. I might have taken some silly damage by myself for not paying attention, but ultimately the death blow was from the shopkeepers just deciding that they hate me for no reason whatsoever. And that's entirely from the random number generator, I'm almost sure. Let's buy the compass and the mystery box. Let's see what's in the mystery box. A boomerang. I do not like the boomerang, but uh, and I definitely don't feel like it was worth the amount of money that I paid for it, but at the same time, it's better than nothing, really, so we might as well take it with us. So let's see how well we'll do this time. I'm still, still waiting for the moment where, when we will unlock the final character and be done with this game already, so we can call it a quits. I've been struggling uh, in this game for the past couple of videos and god damn it I'm so desperate to unlocking the pirate girl I'm almost on the verge of fucking dreaming about her in my dreams at night. That's obviously an exaggeration I'm not mentally ill but still I, I'm, I'm desperate man I'm really desperate for the pirate girl I just do not understand why it's so difficult to unlock her. I want those spectacles. <gasps> what the fuck? Why did it blow? Oh my fucking god. Okay, restart, redo. Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't go through there. Don't go through there. God damn it, bat. Will you just fuck off? The random number generation, man. It's the random number generation every single fucking time. I don't know what just happened. Why did that fucking powder keg explode? I guess I touched the bones right next to it, with it, while I was pushing it. And the bones probably cracked when they were touched by the powder keg. And the bone shards... Uh, trigger the power the powder cake to explode or some shit i don't fucking know i I'm, I'm doing a mental of gymnastics right now in my mind just to justify my death like that time i guess it was my fault for pushing the powder keg in such a reckless manner but god damn it give me a break game just give me a fucking break all I want is just to unlock the, the pirate girl. Just give me that. Let me unlock her. Let me enjoy myself. I am so goddamn sick. Like, I am. I have grown so sick of this game. God fucking whip, man. Fuck the whip. Just fuck it. God. Of course, there's a fucking dark level. The game knows that I hate it, so uh, it said, you know what, <laughs> time to make you suffer, you bitch. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why is the game so mean to me? Is it because I said I hate it? Well, it's the fucking truth. 
I'm not saying that I hate the game just to look cool. Like the game is this game is really making me desperate. Fuck off. Where's the Wait, where's the Oh my god. And I also killed the fucking uh, uh, blinding bug. Oh god. Fucking Jesus. Will you just... <sighs> that was bad play. That was just bad fucking play. That was not the random number generator's fault. That was just me throwing. Is throwing still a word that kids use these days? It used to be popular back in 2016 or something, but it's... I don't know if it's popular anymore. I did not throw the game, I did not want to throw the game, I guess it's not popular anymore and people are just... Like, words are weird, man. There are some words that... Uh, uh, become... A permanent slang, but those are very, very fucking rare. Like the word cool. Cool was not, an, it had a very specific meaning in the English language, and then at some point, I forgot exactly when, in which decade, but at some point in the past, people started using the word cool to mean something that's uh, pretty amazing. Or whatever the hell the meaning is. I, uh, uh, it's very difficult to put in words. But that's what the word cool was. And the word cool still is used even to this day. Despite being one of the oldest, or I think it's among the oldest uh, slang words in existence. But other words like the tubular... They were popular back in the 80s, but they did not, or 90s, I forgot, but they did not survive the test of time. They were popular at some point, but they are not popular anymore. So obviously there's a difference between these two words. Let's bring the damsel today, except for now, let's buy a climbing gloves, a compass, some bombs. Like, I don't know what you feel about the world, the... Uh, Cool. It's not. It's a very like at this point, everyone does it. Almost no one uses it anymore with its with its original meaning. Almost everyone uses it nowadays as its slang term. Well, I guess that there are still many people that use it with its original meaning as well. But uh, uh, predominantly, I think it's used for its slang term. I forgot where I was going with this topic. God damn it, the game is just fucking sapping me of mental energy. I feel like I'm on autopilot, like, I'm so desperate to unlock the fucking final character that I'm under, I'm almost at the point of rambling. I'm, I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying anymore. At so, at so, if I don't unlock the final character very soon, I might just go, uh, start talking nonsense. Like, I might uh, very well just reach the point in which I say just uh, a BB boo boo continuously without any rhyme or reason why, and, uh, and my brain will just accept that as normal. Fuck off, you stupid fucking bitch! <sighs> I need... I need a Ujirai. Where's the Ujirai? Doesn't look like it's on this level though. So it has to be on the next level. Otherwise it's pretty clear that I missed it somewhere. Let's just uh, move on. All I need is the pirate girl. Just give me the fucking pirate girl. Okay. There's the Ujirai. And it's a slave market, or a slave shop over here. And I do not like the slave shop. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's uh, let's do it like this. Let's uh, just grab the Ujerai chest. Where's the Ujerai key? I need a key to unlock the chest. That's as simple as it gets. The rules of this game are very simple. It's just that uh, certain aspects certain aspects of it are less than you know, desirable. Ultimately, the main reason I hate this game uh, is because it relies overly much on the random number generation without any without any checks or balances fuck you in it. Like basically there are situations and there are times in which uh, the game just isn't fair to you just because you have bad luck. And I dislike that. How am I going to do this? Let's do it like this. There we go. Unlock the Ujerai. And now with the Ujerai unlocked and with the... Uh, Oh shit, with the with the mattock on, on us, we can do a lot of good stuff. Okay, first trigger that arrow trap to be sure. Fuck off arrow, nobody asked for you. Why are there fucking spikes just where I need to place the rope? Could you have spawned those spikes anywhere if, uh, less annoying? I know I'm complaining a lot, but the random number generation can sometimes just be complete ass to you and there's nothing you can do about it. I really dislike it. Let's just move on. Fuck whatever's left on that level. I just do not care. Let's go into the jungle instead. Give me the last fucking character game. You know you want to. Let me unlock the last character and we'll be good. Okay, let's buy the pitcher's mitt because that's usually worthwhile, and a pile, and a, uh, two piles of ropes. That's acceptable to me. Okay, so uh, this area doesn't have almost anything useful in it. So let's instead. Oh, but there's a crate right over there. Oh, I want that crate. Come on, jump up. Leave the dams all over here. Let's uh, let's uh, adventure a bit over here just so that we can get the crate. The crate contains ropes. We are already at 17 ropes, so that was really not necessary. But uh, you never know; it could have been bombs or something even more useful, like a fucking jetpack. Yes, the the odds of getting a jetpack from a crate, I believe, are very very slim. But I believe it is possible. And that's all that I need, baby. Give me the emerald and let's just move on. I don't believe the entrance to the black market was anywhere over there. Okay, so here we have a dead or restless level. And the dead or restless levels are pretty terrible. But with that said... Now we have... Uh, A Kali altar, thankfully, that randomly spawn in this level. So that's quite cool. Where's the damsel on this level? I need the damsel to sacrifice to the Kali altar. First things first, let's go over here. I'm not going to the haunted castle level, there's really no point in doing that. Oh, the interest to the black market level is somewhere on this level. Wait, this, was that inevitable? No, it wasn't, but it just so happens to match up. So the interest to the black market uh, level is somewhere over here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. So we found the black market. Fuck me, I need to use a rope. Where I have 70... Oh no, I had the climbing gloves. Why am I retarded? 
Don't waste resources. Like, we can make a sh shit ton of money just from having this uh, this mattock on us. As well as the Ujirai, because we can see all the gems in the ground. I might as well use a rope. God damn it, I, I keep forgetting I have the climbing gloves. I do not have to use ropes if I have the climbing gloves. I need to remember that. Okay, let's uh, sacrifice the damsel. We need to to get the... The cap oh well, we can't get the Kapala just yet, but at some point we, we will need to get the Kapala. So let's see if we can sacrifice the damsel to the Kali altar. I can't reach over there. I need to use another rope. Fuck it, just use it. We have a lot of ropes, we can afford it. Ah, never mind! We already set a precedent before with... Uh, I don't remember though, when did we sacrifice another damsel? Like, I've died so many times in the past couple of uh, runs that uh, I, I lost track of in which run I I, sacri I I have already sacrificed damsel and in which run I haven't. Let's move on. So we have significant money on us this time. Oh, fuck you. Of course it's a dark level. As if the game wasn't hard enough as it was. Well, the bright side will even accumulate even more money because it's a dark level. No, I don't fucking need your stupid fucking camera. Let's use a bomb. I I dislike this place. So a, sh a slave market is a pretty is a pretty terrible waste of a black market uh, location. But whatever. Well, where are all the the scarabs? I need the scarabs to accumulate more money. Are there really no scarabs in this entire market? What the fuck? There are no scarabs! Jesus fucking Christ, that's so shitty. Uh, out of the stupidest things that could have happened to me, no scarabs is just the worst. Is this programmed into the game that if the black if, if the black market is, uh, is the current level, no, no scarabs should generate even though it's a dark level? That's fucking terrible. Okay, so I already have the climbing gloves and the compass, so none of that is necessary. What can what what do I need? Uh, bombs? I would really need bombs, I guess. You know what? Yeah, let's just buy bombs. There's nothing else that's useful on this black market, so we might as well just buy as many bombs as we can afford. We have 42 fucking bombs, which is still not enough, but uh, it, it's a start at least. Let's move on. I, I'm leaving the the mattock uh, behind. I don't give a crap. And let's finish off with the black market level. We have um, a pretty nice set of items on us, all things considered. Mm. Let's use a bomb over here. Fuck you, frog! Mind your own fucking manners, will you? Alright, I have the, the fucking uh, pictures meat, I forgot about that. You know what, let's use a bomb. Fuck this bullshit, I'm not navigating this uh, puzzle. What did we leave behind? All ah, right, an idol. Let's go back for the idol. It's worth some money. Not, not a lot though, just some. There we go. Let's grab the idol. And let's bail out, baby. Oh my god, I just took fall damage. Like a fucking idiot. Again, you should never 
end up taking fall damage in this game. If you do, you're just playing badly. There's no way... There's no other way of putting it, really. Okay, so there's a damsel over here. Let's... Uh, let's save her. And uh, I will not immediately... Uh, rescue her. Because I want to see if we can... Uh, if you can sacrifice her instead to a Kali altar, as usual, because you know I really like Kali. Me and her are best buds. There we go. Okay, so there was nothing important over there, and I lost way too much life than I should have. But, uh, it's just the way things work. Let's move on. I really need more bombs, though. I really wish the game would give me more bombs. Should we go to the spaceship level? That's an interesting question. I do not know just yet. I would just because that would give us a bunch of extra le it would give us just one extra level but that extra level could count in generating the final character but there's also the risk that uh, if I go on the spaceship level there's, there's the real chance and in fact it's a very high chance of me dying to the alien queen and if that's the case then I will not get to the temple to unlock the final character so even though I, I have a, a, a chance to get an extra level, the risk of me dying is also a bit too high for my liking. So I think I will skip the spaceship level. The only times I feel comfortable going to the spaceship level in where, is when I have when I'm really equipped. But right now I don't think I'm that well equipped right now. I don't like the. I have some nice passive items. I will admit that, but uh, the items that I, I I'm wearing right now aren't that uh, amazing. They're good, but they're they're not they're not a jetpack good. So I don't know. I don't feel comfortable going to them. Oh fuck! I forgot I have the fucking pictures mid. No damsel! Oh shit! You know what? Stop rushing. Fuck the damsel, you don't need the damsel. You, you have five hearts. Just stop fucking rushing. You lost the damsel, so be it. Yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. You cannot whip these guys. As if the whip wasn't you already useless enough. So yeah, I've decided... <sighs> but do I... I, I want to say that I decided not to go to the black, the, to the uh, the spaceship level, but at the same time, I kind of want to, I want to do. You know what, fuck it, let's visit the spaceship level. I really want to visit it. Let's go. If if we are going to die, we're going to die. So be it. The final character uh, ideally should have spawned by this point anyway. There was a chance it would it could have spawned in the temple as well. And if we are going to die here, we would have missed that chance. But you know what? I'm not going to think too hard about that. I've made my decision. Let's see if we can... Uh, if we can make this work, baby. God, this entire fucking level is chaotic as fuck! Fuck me, god damn it. F just fuck me. There's the fucking exit. If ah, oh, god damn it! The fucking crosshair caught me between a rock and a hard place, god damn it. 
But then I, I was afraid that we were going to die. But you know what? I, I'm going to take responsibility for that decision. I think it was a worthwhile decision. Had we gotten the, the, the plasma cannon from that level, we would have been able to do some amazing things. And at least it, it would have spiced up this video. We didn't manage to do that, but if we had done that, then the video would have become far more interesting. So I think that was a worthwhile endeavor, even if we failed in the end. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, see you next time.